Hi, and welcome back to uh, Producer Nerd. This, um, this week I'm gonna show you about how to do videos offline. Recently I uh, did one for the Highly Street Country Club, and so uh, you would have uh, maybe seen it of uh, Money's Too Tight to Mention by Simply Red. Now, uh, let's start by saying that this is, uh, it is impossible for any group to record a song simultaneously from their own houses using the internet. It's 2020, and if any one of you um, think that it's actually possible through some sort of technology, some sort of app, some sort of anything like that, it's not, it's not impossible, it's not possible at all. The only way that any of these videos are made possible is by pre-recording. So let me show you how this, um, this song was born. Of course, um, the uh, the original track was uh, done in, uh, you know, I came up to uh, the original track here. Let me just play a little bit of it. So you get the gist, that's where, that's the song. Um, we wanted to uh, just change the key down a tone. Um, I played in the um, after discussing this with uh, uh, with with my uh, partner in crime, Con. We had a uh, he sent me some screenshots of some arrangements. Here's some chords, uh, how the verses, bridge, solo is going to go. Here's the arrangement, how many bars, the intro. Um, verse, everything like that. Uh, everyone, of course, all of the players got one of these. Um, anything, you know, th this sort of thing here is the backbone for the main chord structure, but, you know, mainly this one here shows you the amount of bars for every single part. Um, and just some things like, um, you know, same groove as Billie Jean sort of verses, things like that. So this is uh, some notes for the drummer. The drummer and percussionist uh, father and son and they did their video in their own home studio um, we were very lucky um, you know of course we gave them this track here so it had click track and uh, all they had was a little basic piano and a click track uh, to play along with but that was tempo locked a little bit faster than the original at 115 beats a minute and then the, um, the guys gave me their resulting video, which uh, is this one here. Now remember Ben, here on the left, um, he's listening to a click. He's got ear pieces in, Stevie's too, but they're listening to a click and my little piano thing, and I think I gave him a track with me talking, saying, you know, uh, here comes the verse five, four, two, you know, five, four, three, two, one things. Okay, so this is uh, one of two takes that they sent me, and of course they sent me the multi-tracks, kick, snare, you know, the two toms, floor, the two overheads, all of these, the three mics that were on the percussion. So I had all of those mics um, so I could do a mix with it. Uh, then I added those into the thing and I sent that off to Con, uh, who did um, his own little video. Uh, let's just play a little bit of that. <clears throat> this one so now he's hearing that and he's recording himself this is just on an iPhone okay he sent me that one uh, I put that track into uh, into logic as well the bass track and um, and I began to build now I, I compiled all these videos what you're looking at behind here is my Premiere Pro session with all of the videos and I'll show you how that works in just a second uh, but um, so back to here then it went to James now James um, fantastic player um, not that high tech on the phone, just made a bit of a boo-boo doing it this way but that's alright I mean in Premiere I just turned his video over so and he used, 
he's using Logic and he actually used a BritClean um, Logic amp simulator um, because he just didn't want to disturb his neighbors. So, um, and so his guitar is through an amp sim. Um, it, this is, these are all single takes though, so there's no editing. Even his solo. So he sent me all that, his video and his uh, single track. Um, then, of course, he went through to the singer last. Uh, I think I've got him up here or one of these. Uh, Callum, here he is. Now this, I've actually put the, um, the main video on it, but um, the main sound onto it. But, um, you know, during there he could just hear his stereo in the background and he's singing through a dynamic mic up close. And so I got that with a bit of spill, um, as he would have done it in the room. So that's just shot with his iPhone in portrait. Everyone else was in landscape, I just wanted him in portrait. Um, so once I had compiled all of the parts, um, my keyboard and, uh, and vocal part was the last bit to, to go. Um, which is uh, up here, set up in the thing, so... Now you see I've got my iPad here, my studio's in another room. Um, I was um, the only guy in all of this that actually, um, I was going to be beside the drummers, that had a cool studio down the hall. Um, and I'm using my iPad here to control Logic. Um, and I'm just running my camera, just running it until I've, you know, I've got the take that I want. My vocals and my keyboards are recorded. Um, that is the take that I choose. Those vocals is what I chose and that playing. So, you know, you can check all the playing. Everything that I play on the keyboard is what you hear. Um, so all of the videos were compiled. I go into, um, into uh, Premiere and I create a grid. Um, just up in the in the effects, I just search for grid, and I throw it into you know a a black background, um, and you can choose uh, with a grid. You can just choose um where um how big the anchor point is. You know where how big the actual um, grid is. So from that, I chose that I was going to have nine um, parts just because I wanted. Um, to split the drums and the way that I wanted three on the bottom and three on the top. So um, I imported my first drum video, which is full screen. I wanted to split eventually, split Ben and Steve across from each other and be able to, um, you know, make two shots out of those guys. Um, and I wanted to start with just Ben. So I cropped them down. Put him to the center. If I go back here and press play, moved him. So these are all just editing features. Um, these guys, so I actually made a copy of this video so I could crop both of them. Crop, uh, I made two, uh, two copies. Um, there's another one sitting underneath here. Soon um, Ben will crop that side and Steve will crop the other side and I'll move apart as two videos. So um, I have Ben's video, um, Steve's video as well over there. So when you see the crop, So all, I won't go through to the, you know, the actual editing inside here, but you can see I've used a grid, which I did switch off at the end of the video. So just to make sure I've got positions right. Um, remember, this is all pre-recorded, and this is the only way that, that this is done. There is no way that this, you know, there's an app for us all to just call each other up and happen. That, that might happen in the future, but this is 2020, and all the COVID videos that you're seeing, uh, yeah, they're not real. Okay. I mean, they are real. These these people are playing, but I mean, they're not all played simultaneously. It's just that's the way it is. Uh, here's um, I've just sl slid in as these guys move up, moved James in, and of course I wanted him to go full screen. So over here, when his solo happens, 
he goes in while everyone you know moves out and things like that so uh, let's go over to Callum's video he slides in once um, once the guys move apart and my videos on top I'm down the bottom there uh, of course con is down the bottom right so and I put uh, our logo in that in the box over here just to make the um, the start of the video to brand us up a bit um, so people would know who we were remember we normally do this all in one room all together so this is the first time we had to do this um, then so the logos on switch them on and then uh, once the the drum is split apart etc over here you got a little bit this is where the transitions go and at the end of the solo then you got a little break here just to break it up And then uh, the end. Um, just when we had an end, I just um, just went bang bang at the end here with our logo. Just an image there. So, I mean, this this um, particular project here, it it is a very simple. I'm not a video editor, and I'm fairly new to this. And thanks to um, this terrible time with a pandemic, I've actually um, had to learn how to do this. So, um, and I'm not that good. I'm only, this is my first sort of try at it. And I hope um, the video editors out there aren't scoffing too much. I, I apologize for my, um, you know, not quite perfect little lines and everything, but I did my very best. Um, so it's the, I mean, the mix audio mix to this is a, is a whole um, other project. And that obviously was done in Logic Pro. And um, if I was to, just um, unhide all of the tracks. You can see that, uh, you know, there's all of the actual drums, bongos, bass track, guitar, keys, uh, vocals, everything's all there. So. And this, you know, this particular mix was, you know, mixed um, the way I normally do my mixes. You can see um, I've triggered the kick um, just to give that same sound. Um, you know, all of my things here are, are you know, Slate Digital or Logic. So um, I do this, that particular mix video there is maybe, maybe something I'll get into. But um, I just needed to show you today how we did this video because um, just, to, just to tell everyone that... Um, I'm not sort of breaking wide open a big myth. Um, we, we sort of knew that the technology is not exactly there um, for us to do this simultaneously. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it opened up um, your eyes to the process. Um, it is a very long process. Normally people have teams, a video editing team to do this. Um, obviously we do all this ourselves. It's just something that we've um, had to do, of course, because we can't all be together in the same room. I um, hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, subscribe and share it around um, as well. So feel free. Chat soon. Bye-bye.